It's 15.22 in Smithfield, London. You poisoned someone and now you're about to be executed. Beneath you is a giant cauldron filled with boiling water. As the steam rises, blisters form on your reddened skin. To your left, the executioner stands on a platform. He turns a crank and slowly your chain begins to lower until you're fully submerged in the boiling water. I am Dan, your host, and welcome to a history arc. Boiling to death was a somewhat common form of punishment in Africa, Asia, and Europe. From Emperor Nero's persecution of Christians to King Henry VIII's persecution of poisoners, Various rulers from history have been big fans of the whole boiling people to death thing. And why wouldn't they be? The sweet aroma of flesh being boiled, your organs being cooked in their own fluids, your skin fusing to your clothes, finally topped off with you going blind as your eyes are boiled. Definitely can see why these rulers favored it. Uh, back to the topic. Boiling to death typically involved a large container or cauldron. Executioners would usually fill this container with boiling water, oil, or molten lead. Wax, tallow, and wine were also used on some occasions. Side note, imagine boiling alcohol going down your throat. I wonder if you could get drunk like that. Sometimes the victims would be immersed in the fluid then the container would be slowly heated, ensuring a slow but agonizing death. Other times, the contents would first be boiled. Then the victims would be plunged into the cauldron, giving them a somewhat faster death. Either way, it was a lose-lose situation. Considering how terrifying being boiled to death is, who exactly was this horrendous execution meant for? In the past, it was mainly used to punish criminals and political enemies. In England, King Henry VIII passed an act that had those that poisoned, for example, their masters or mistresses, boiled to death. Besides England, being boiled to death was also a punishment in France and Germany. Between the 13th and the 16th centuries, those that committed clipping or coining were boiled to death. Eventually, authorities would start to produce coins with milled edges, making damaged coins easy to identify. In Asia, China practiced this execution for capital punishment and as a means of torture. Famously in Japan, Ishikawa Goemon and his son were boiled alive. For his failed assassination attempt on the Sengoku warlord Toyotomi Hideyoshi. Those are only a few instances of boil to death being practiced. There are many more instances across history. With that said, this has been History Arc. Thanks for watching.